I think the first is uh, you need to work, if you, if, depending upon how well you want to do, and particularly if you're starting a company, you need to work super hard. So what, what does super hard mean? Um, well, when my brother and I were starting our first company, uh, in, instead of getting an apartment, we just rented a, a small office and we slept on the couch. Uh, and we, we showered at the, the YMCA. And uh, we're, we're so hot up, we had just one computer. So the, 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 the website was up during the day. Uh, and I was coding at night, seven days a week, all the time. Um, and I, I uh, sort of briefly had a girlfriend in that period. And in order to be with me, she had to sleep in the office. So uh, work hard, like it, it, I mean, every waking hour. That's that's the the thing I would I would say if if you particularly if you're starting a company. Um, and I mean, if you do simple math, say like okay, if somebody else is working 50 hours and you're working 100. Uh, you'll get twice as done as much done in the course of a year as the, as, uh, the other company. Uh, the the other thing I'd say is that um, if if you're creating a company or if you're joining a company, uh, the most important thing is to uh, is to attract great people. So either be with, join a group that's amazing that you really respect, or if you if you're building a company, you've got to gather great people. I mean, all a company is, is a group of people that have gathered together to create a product or service. And so depending upon how talented and hardworking that group is, and the degree to which they are focused uh, cohesively in, in a good direction, that will determine the success of the company. So do everything you can to, to gather great people uh, if, if you're creating a company. Um, then I'd say focus on, on signal over noise. Um, a lot of companies get, get confused. They, they spend money on things that don't actually make the product better. So, for example, at, at Tesla, we've, we've never spent any money on advertising. Uh, we, we put all of the money into R&D and, and manufacturing and design to try to make the car as good as possible. Um, and uh, I, I think that's, that's, that's the way to go. So, for, for any given company, just can, can keep thinking about are these efforts that p people are, are expending, are they resulting in a better product or service? And if they're not, stop those efforts. Um, and then the, the, the final thing is, is to sort of, is, is don't, don't just follow the trend. So um, you may have heard me say it to, to, that it's good to think in terms of the, the physics approach of first principles, uh, which is rather than reasoning by analogy, you boil things down to the most fundamental truths you can imagine, and you reason up from there. And this is a good way to figure out if, if, if something really makes sense, or if it's just what everybody else is doing. Um, it, it, it's hard to think that way. You can't think, think that way about everything. It takes a lot of effort. Uh, but if you're trying to do something new, it's the best way to think. Um, and that framework was developed by, by physicists to figure out counterintuitive things. Um, like quantum mechanics, so it's really a powerful, powerful method. Um, and uh, anyway, so that's, and, and then I think that the final thing I would encourage you to do is, now is the time to take risk. Uh, you don't have, <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't have, you don't have kids. As you as you get older, your obligations increase. So you, the, and once you have a family, you start taking risk not just for yourself but for your family as well. It gets much harder to. Uh, do things that might not work out. Um, so now is the time t to do that uh, before you before you have those obligations. So I would, I would encourage you to take risks now. Do something bold. Um, you won't regret it. Thank you. So for e-commerce, the most important thing was trust. I think when I went, first went to USA for raising money talk to the venture capitalists. A lot of people say, oh, Jack, no, 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 no. China doing business by the Guanxi. How can you do business on internet? And I know that without the trust system, the credit system, it's impossible to do business. So we, we every, in the past four, 14 years, everything we do is trying to build up the trust system. But because of e-commerce, we finish 60 million transactions every day. 
People don't know each other. I don't know you. I send products to you. You don't know me. You wire the money to me. And I don't know you. I give a per person a package. I don't know him. He took something to so cross the ocean, cross the river, and send. This is the trust. We have six, at least the 60 million trust happening every day. I talk to the banks. No banks want to do it. Banks say, ah, oh, no, this thing never work. So I don't know what to do. Because if I start to launch a payment system, it's against the financial legal laws. Because you have to have a license. But if I don't do it, e-commerce will go nowhere. So then I went to Davos. I listened to a leadership discussion. Leadership is about responsibility. And after I listen to that panel, I give a call to my friends, my colleagues in the, my apartment say, do it now, immediately. If something wrong, the government not happy about that, if one body has to go to the prison, Jack might go to the prison. Because it is so important for China, for the world to build up the trust system. And if you do not do it, I said, and do not do it properly, stealing money, money wash, no trust record, I send you to the prison. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. that was the thing. And people, people don't like it. So many people I talked to at that time for Alipay, they say, this is the stupidest idea you have ever got. But I say, <laughs> I don't wear the stupid yeah. club as long as people use it. Now we have uh, 800 million people using this Alipay. Stupid yeah, things if Alipay you do is whatever very, is better. Alipay is a privately held thing. It's not part of Alibaba. No, it's a private. Let me talk about money for a second. Yeah. Uh, you have never gotten money from the Chinese government? No. None. None. I, 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 um, I want it at the beginning, and later I don't want it, because I think if the company always think about uh, picking money from out, out of the government off pockets, that company is, is rubbish. Think about how can you make money from the customers and market and then help customers succeed. That's our philosophy. It's a great company. You know, they come, I go, you know, Taiji is like, you fight here, I go over there. You put it on the top, I go to down. Right? So yeah. it's a balance. Right? You are heavy, I'm small, you know. When I'm small, I can jump. You're heavy, you cannot jump. So, the Taiji is better philosophy. I'm using Taiji philosophy in the, in the business. Calm down, there's always a way out. And keep yourself balanced. And meanwhile, don't try to keep, because business is, is a comp competition, is a fun. Business is not like a battlefield, you, uh, you die or I win. Business, even if you die, I may not win. Right, so it's about, it's about a fun. At first, I think uh, many years ago, I want to change the world. Now, I think if we want to change the world, we change ourselves. Change ourselves is more important and easier than change the world. And second is that I want to improve the world. Because it changed the world, maybe Obama's job. Because my job is to making sure that my team are happy. Because my team are happy, they can make my customer happy. If my customer, they are all small business. When they are happy, we are happy. About women, one of the secret sources for Alibaba's success is that we have a lot of women. What percentage of women in well, among one Alibaba day employees. before, I think two months before, two or three months before we IPO, there's Ameri there American journalists come to our company. She, she asked me a question. Jack, I've seen so many women in your company. I say, what's wrong? <laughs> we have a later, we find that, you know, we, we have 30, or we have 47% of the employees of our company are women. How many? 40? 47% of our company of women. And we actually had a 51 because we acquired some company these days. They have more men, so balance that. <laughs> but these are women in top level positions? 33% of the senior of the management are women and 24% of the senior management, very top level, are women. We have a women CEO, CFO, CPO, chief people officer, and we have everywhere. And I think so comfortable to working with them because women 
in this world, if you want to win in 21st century, you have to make sure that making other people powerful, empower others, making sure the other people are better than you are, then you will be successful. So I find the women, they think about the others more than they think about themselves.